Hey yo YouTubers, whoa the light is bright. Excuse me being a bit messy. Um, I'm watching the news in the background on ITV. So, I'll turn the volume down. While my vegetables are steaming in the steamer in the distance. For the um, for an experiment, I'm going to do a, a recipe experiment. I don't think I'll film it, I'll try it first, and if it's a success, I'll be putting it on YouTube anyway. We've got a beer review for you, right? And I've got a very special beer review. And it's. Drum roll, get straight into it because I haven't had a drink today, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit, I've just woke up sort of feeling like, you know what I mean? But it's a brand new beer, it's really strong, and it's from the latest, you might have seen a recent upload where I say, you know, I'll, uh, Lidl, Lidl have done a, a, you know, a thing with Belgian beers or whatever, like, and so drum roll, Golden Drach, Golden Drach, which I suppose it means Golden Dragon, right? Golden Drach, right? And what's the brewery's name? Golden Drach. Oh my god, I can't even understand anything. But other people have described this, it has been reviewed, so and people do the descriptions of it, so anyone who's gonna watch this is bound to watch. Bravo Brauwerge van Steenberg is the brewer. I don't know if I can read that and understand it. Mad white bottle. Ten percent. Where does it say on there? Ten point five per cent. Ow! Yo! <laughs> Yo, mama! Right, okay, so we're going to get on with it. Like, and I bought some of these from Lidl, and there's like a six pack, so I've got six of these to review, and they're all different, you see. There's, there's like two of this company, but they're both different beers, or that kind of thing. There's like different beers. From the same company times three, not like two different beers. Anyway, let's get on with it, eh? Let's get on with it. I can't read the description. There is a dis like I say, all the people describe it, but I'm just gonna get straight into it. It's from the little uh, Belgian beer six pack which is out at the moment, so you know it's like eleven pound or something. Eleven ninety nine, okay. I got me pissy kid Belgian. I always use the pissy kid, the pissing kid Belgian. Brussels bottle opener for Belgian beer. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna got a big glass as well to pour it in. But I've seen it on on uh, YouTube and it looks very dark. You know what I mean. So I got sun shining through my window, so it's really bright. So I like the beer up. You get me? Okay, let's go. Let's crack it open. Let's just go for it. Like Obelliar, Obelliar. As they say in uh, Belgium, <laughs> as they say in Dane. In Denmark, as the Vikings say in Denmark, I always keep my bottle tops and bottles and everything. All right, it smells just like a real, real ale beer, real ale thing like Golden Drag, Belgian beer, 10.5%. Oh my god, let's just pour it into the glass. The glass is clean enough, I think. Let's just pour it in, let's go for it, let's see what we've got. Quite ambery coloured. Ten point five percent. Oh man, this glass is perfect, actually. It's a, another another uh, company. Get all the yeast out. Kind of distilled in the bottle, aren't you? Okay. Souvenir bottle for my first bottle. All right. Now I'm using one of these. Look, see. That's another. Bira Moretti, but it's not this, you know, this is a uh, golden, golden dragon, isn't it? It's golden dragon, I'm not sure, I call it beer stabbing, verdant, dirtin, little thing, anyway, really dark. I mean, yeah, it's like, like almost red. Oh my word, it's like ruby red almost, that way. I just get straight in, let's go. 
10.5%, let's go. Oh man, it's like wine. It's like barley wine. Mmm. Bleeding order. Bleeding order. See the glow off that because the sun's shining through, it looks getting really bad. Red. Literally red. Beautiful taste. Oh my word, but it's like. I think the nearest thing I've tried to that is, is gold label barley wine. It's fizzing like crazy. Like crazy. That should be picked up by the microphone, shouldn't it? Is that outrageous? It's like champagne, it's beautiful. My word, and it really has got that way. Like, the sun's glowing. It's got that like, um, um, oh man, portly sort of thing going on, whiny. Oh my word. The light is just <laughs> being blinded here by the sun through the window. Can't even see now, man. Oh, that's delicious. It really is. Let's go for it. Mm. What? Oh, what? Where are they thinking? Mm. Oh, man, then it's like, like, a, like a fizzy red wine, like a dark red wine, fizzy. And oh man, that's amazing. I mean, I saw people's reactions. I saw someone do a re review of it on YouTube. And I thought, wow, he's really, he's really blown away by that. You know what I mean? He really was like. We gave it a nine out of ten, right? But just first impressions from that, just that, like the hits and the whininess and the, I call it the bushies factor, but the ten point five percent. That's immediate. It is almost like wine or champagne. Oh man, really, it's delicious that. So highly recommend it just to try that bit on its own, really. So I can't wait to try the rest, but. <laughs> I can't help myself, it's like quite um You see the glow red. It's just a little bit interesting, you know. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful red colour. Red colour. Oh no, my word, that's, that's absolutely astounding. It's a really nice reaction as well, like a, like a proper quality drink, man, it really is. That's delicious, that means I could really send me into severe alcoholism and tell me a big time. Oh my word, that's absolutely amazing that the whininess, like that kind of, it's very much like barley wine but with, with a little bit of that kind of portly aftertaste, you know, it's like Crazy barley wine with port mixed, but with a lagery thing, you know, the beer, like it's beer, it's amazing, that, like, really tasty. And, like, oh, the hit and everything, it's like immediate, because I was totally straight there, you know what I mean? I haven't had a drink for quite a while, actually, a few days, like. 
try my best just to stick to quality beers, especially for these reviews, especially like, you know, but, oh. I've got to finish this glass off on camera, I've not take my time with it, like, I've, I've got 20 odd minutes, you know what I mean, which is like, well, there's no description actually on the bottle, but there is on the, um, you know, the packet that you, the, the bottles are in, and I couldn't, couldn't be bothered for it, I'll leave out the description with this one, it's, it's not hard to recognise, it's got a white bottle and there's a golden dragon on it, golden drag, classic, man. Oh man, I'm going to have a nice afternoon today, I tell you. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing beers all day. Oh my word. That's just absolutely divine. These guys really know their stuff. Man, oh. That's like, what is going on? That's what absolutely fantastic. <laughs> By the way, have I got any stains on me or spuds in my eye or any snotty nose or anything on the camera? This HD camera is mind blowing, you know what I mean? I've um I videoed the storm last night over the Merseyside, which is ridiculous and um for, oh my word, crazy and in high def. That reminds you of homebrew. It reminds me of homebrew that my old man did and it was mind blowing. Me, once he did, every brew he did, he ruined it by dipping into it while it was in the fermentation or whatever, and he wasn't, you know, patient enough. Well, as long as it had a high alcoholic content, he didn't give a shit. But he did it properly once with this really good brew, and it was mind blowing. It was one of the best drinks I've ever had in my life, to be honest. But this is, um, it kind of reminds me of it. And obviously, this has been done by professionals with a bit of. You can see all the fizz is gone, like, you know, the foam is gone, like. You know, the, the foam is gone. But it's a lovely... Ah, oh, that is a fantastic beer experience, that's to me, to me. Like, I'm definitely 10 out of 10 without any reserve on that before we even finished it. Without any reserve, that is a 10 out of 10 beer, like, what? Oh man, beautiful. There's only one bottle in each case. Do you get me like this? So it's over before you know. So, gotta go through all six of them and carefully tread and say, What's gonna do to me? <laughs> What's he gonna do to me? Six bottles of beer with totally different all in one night. If I had myself waking up on the, on the veranda or something like caught in a net trying to kill, commit suicide. With my pants around my ankles full of poo. <laughs> oh man, this is an amazing beer. This I love it. I love the flavour, I love the smell of it. I mean toffee, like just classic beer. Really classic. Anything alcohol that you actually like. The ten percent alcohol is clearly like boom, but anything like but a red rosy wine with a fizz is what it reminds me of the most. Like some kind of what do you call it when it's like a rosy red white wine that's deep red with a whiny portiness to it, but with a fizz like a champagne thing, you know. <sighs> that's it in a beer, fantastic. I can't, I've got no reserve in, in raving about this beer, mate. It's beautiful. Um, but you've got to try on multiple occasions to see if you because you can get tired of a beer, can't you? You can drink it a few times and you go, oh, I'm not going to drink that anymore. And you never drink it again because for some reason, I don't know, it gives you a toothache, makes you ill, I don't know. Makes you poo your pants <laughs> while you're trying to do, commit suicide on the veranda. But the net stopped you and you, and you fell asleep. It's like homebrew. It is like something like you just you go to someone's house and it's in the living room and you can't buy it in the shops or something. That's that fantastic. That but oh, must be dangerous. Eh? So I bought twenty bottles of that. I basically listed as A-list suicidal potential. Oh, 
like it though. Oh, it's rich. Oh, I'm after that. Some of them limited edition beers that Aldi do, the ones in the black bottles. The one that had the um, rum, rum chip, rum wood chip flavouring and things like that. It reminds me of that as well. It's got that true connoisseur, fizzy, delicate palate like fizzy delicate palette with a connoisseur undertone flavour and little overtones and everything but gets you well you man I've like, had one one bottle on my one little bottle and I'm like immediately wellied you know what I mean I feel I don't feel pissed and drunk and what's the way they're incompetent but I feel definitely intoxicated on a high level like. The sun is blasting through here, mate. Get a little, just a little idea. Look, you see the red in it from there, can't you? Crazy. It's, it, it, oh, man. Hard to describe, man. That's beautiful, man. It's really well done, that, like. Top marks to them, mate. No, well, that's a 10 out of 10, man. I don't even think about it. That's beautiful. That's too good to be true. A 10 out of 10. Oh, man, we're going for a trip here, aren't we? All right, ten out of ten. I'm getting off. I'm gonna finish the finish the bottle in one go. Like. Up hell we are. Up hell we are. Might even start with two fake, but. I don't care, I'll risk it. I'll risk a toothache for them. Alright. <clears throat> I absolutely love this beer, mate, but I don't know what I'll be like after a few of them, you see. So, it's a, it's a crazy one, now. Like. We'll do another one. I'll do review a second beer in a minute. <laughs> Alright. That's amazing, that, like. That's absolutely amazing. I love that. Wow. Champagne. Dark red champagne in a, in a little tiny bottle. Mm. 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 <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Highly recommended. 10 out of 10. Lovely beer. Fantastic. Whatever, I can't remember that. It's hard to say the brewery, but anyway, you know what it is. It's little anyway, little get out by. I think it's for Father's Day, isn't it? Little six pack of these special Belgian beers, and I'm going to do another one immediately. Okay, thanks for watching. I should be drunk. Very drunk soon. <laughs>